Boom shakalaka, the one indicator that can determine the bottom and signal the start of the next bull run. Stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, we're taking a look at a lot of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including the one indicator that could determine the bottom and signal the start of the next bull run, plus where we might be headed in the medium term. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell, come join us on Twitter at the Crypto Love. Push that like button. Now, today, fear 26, same as yesterday, 26, down from last week, 28, and last month, 38. The overall market, though, up 2%. Bitcoin at 17,322, Ethereum at 1296, BNB at 295, XRP 39 cents, Dogecoin 10 cents, Cardano 32 cents, and Polygon 93 cents. Now, Bitcoin is still sitting in this descending wedge, generally a bullish pattern. But if we take a look, it has broken past this orange line, 20 day moving average. Historically, when it breaks that the past two times, it goes up on average 18%, which would bring us right around to this bullseye area. Maybe, depending upon how long it takes us to get there, might even take us outside of this descending wedge, which could send the price even higher. Now, that being said, right now, Bitcoin is repeating a pattern we saw between 2013 and 2015, a similar end of bear market pattern happening once again, where we had a very similar double top. So we had top, bottom, top. And then we had the price descending. We also had the RSI-based MA14 descending before the turnaround. And as that turnaround occurred, massive rally. Well, we had the top bottom top. Again, we have descending price. We have descending RSI here on a monthly chart. This could be big for Bitcoin signaling the bottom. As a matter of fact, fractalizing Bitcoin, the rallies that we've seen previously, like particularly this rally where Bitcoin price went up dramatically we might be seeing the same exact thing happening now this is the total cryptocurrency market cap continues to accumulate before hard movements we can see this cup not really a handle kind of like a blip above the top of the cup finding support on there we see the same thing cup blip above finding support before the next launch point look at how much larger the cup is potentially that much larger could the launch B, right now, Bitcoin is in historic lifetime investment opportunities as the entire market goes into unrealized loss territory. It happens extremely rarely. These areas underneath the realized market cap where we see the green right here, Bitcoin doesn't spend much time in those areas. Right now, we are in there once again, suggesting that the price is historic lifetime investment opportunities. And while Bitcoin may lead, some are speculating that altcoins may actually take the lead this time, surprising everybody. Tech Dev here saying, in his opinion, there's a strong chance the majority is about to be caught off guard by this next altcoin move. He understands the common wisdom as that Bitcoin leads everything follows later. But how often is common wisdom wrong all the freaking time? At least for now, he's fading that consensus. Now we have this reaccumulation period, similar to a reaccumulation period we saw in 2015, with the decreasing RSI and a break above finding support, we had decreasing RSI, break above finding support, we might be headed for something that will catch everybody off guard. Because if we take a look at Bitcoin here, when we have a descending trend, price goes up. Ascending trends, price goes down. Descending trend, price goes up. Descending trend, price goes up. Ascending trend, price goes down. Ascending trend, price goes down. Descending trend, well, the price might go up coupled with these facts. The Fed announced slowdown of rate hike. Fed doesn't want to hurt, over tighten and hurt the economy. DAX and Dow Jones front run SPX and broke in and inflation peaked in June. All these things suggesting that we might see price going back up because even if we're counting the number of red candles in this bear market, comparing it with 2018, the shop's running out of red candles. Just sell the green ones from here on out. If we take a look at the bear market woes, down 74%. This one down here on the monthly chart, down 74%. Also, it was 13 bars, 13 bars, which suggest we might have some green candles a coming. Because if you want to know the one chart, the one indicator that can determine the bottom and signal the start of the next bull run, at the same time, you should take a look at the ROC, the rate of change indicator. If blue crosses red, the bottom is in. It happened in 2015 back here, 2019 right here, 2020 right here. We are very, very close right now for Bitcoin. This called all of the previous bottoms. We are very, very close once again. Could be calling the bottom. Now, where to? Well, 
the pre-halving rally, we are in the territory. Within the next month or two, generally the pre-halving rally begins. We have a, ra a halving predicted for roughly March of 2024. Now, each cycle, Bitcoin had a rally before its halving occurs. These rallies top with 61.8 to 78.6 FIB retracement areas. If Bitcoin were to rally pre-halving here again, its top could be located between 39 and 50 thousand dollars now looking at bitcoin's price right now you're looking at a two to three to maybe even four x of bitcoin price just by the halving alone nothing more than that so that is very very interesting for bitcoin and that is all for today's episode if you did enjoy it, push that like button i'll catch you guys later have a good one love you peace if you don't think bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then ten million dollars a coin you're already a loser Never